Just because my last video was about why I haven't bought a new camera yet does not mean that I am anti-gear video. I love a good gear video and that is exactly what I have for you today. Some genuine consumer advice that has solved a massive problem for me that I've been having for at least a year now. So this is my old Manfrotto ball head. I've had this for, about, I want to say about three years now. It's served me well. But over the past year, I've been having some problems with it. A couple of problems that haven't been massively detrimental to my photography and I've always been able to work around them, but it got to the point where it was so irritating. And actually, you know, I thought, I, need, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't carry on like this. I need to sort this out. <laughs> and that the problem with this tripod that I've been having, problem number one is with the clamp. The clamp is at the top of your tripod, that's what bites down onto your tripod plate or an L bracket if you use one of those. Um, the clamp here is, is faulty basically and what happens is it doesn't bite onto the L bracket properly or the, or the, or the plate and also it doesn't release properly. Um, there's a little red button here that you're supposed to press and that will release your camera from the tripod head. More often than not, it doesn't release it because there's a little little clamp inside and, and it's just it's just not working. I, can't, I don't really know how to explain it other than to tell you that every time I want to take my camera off the tripod, I have to massively wrestle with it and then eventually stick my finger in to release the little bit that bites down on it. And it, it was annoying. It was annoying, but I could live with it. I could live with it, but what I can't live with is this. This is the rotating base, the panoramic base. If you want to shoot a panoramic photograph, you level your tripod and then you loosen your, you loosen this, the, the panoramic rotating base, and you can spin your tripod head around like so and get a lovely sweeping panoramic shot. Now, the problem with this is you know, this is a solid ball head, but as soon as you loosen, as soon as you loosen the panoramic head, there's loads of play, tons of play, which means all of a sudden it's properly wobbly. And, uh, you know, and it's been doing that for ages and I've just kind of lived with it. And I don't know why, I, I'm just lazy, I think. I just, I don't know, maybe I'm just reluctant to buy stuff, but um, yeah, I can take this apart, tighten all of the internal gubbins and fix it, but after a couple of days it just comes back. Um, so yeah, it was really, really annoying. And as I've been shooting panoramics more and more lately, you know, leveling your tripod all of the time becomes an annoyance. And that, excuse me, that is where this bad boy came in. Now this is my iFootage Gazelle TC7 tripod, not a sponsored video, let's just get that clear. And I've explained and talked about this tripod in previous videos, but for those who won't have seen it, um, essentially you have a uh, handle underneath the tripod that you loosen with a twist, and it's called a bowl head. So what that means is if you want to shoot a panoramic, you don't have to level your tripod, faff on with your legs and all that sort of stuff. You can just plonk your tripod down, loosen this, and you level, oh, you level the bowl head, like so. Problem with this, there's <laughs> so many problems. The problem with this system is that there is a, a bubble, a bubble level here. But as soon as you put a tripod head on to the tripod, you cover the bubble, and you can't see if it's level or not. So it's almost a moo point, you know, it's just, it's just yeah, it's annoying. And what I don't want to do is level the tripod and then screw on a ball head every time. That, to me, is just excessive faff. So, what have we learned so far? I've got a dodgy tripod head, my man Frotto. It's about done, I've had it for years, it's served me well. I'm shooting more panoramics and I'm sick to death of leveling my tripod on boggy, rocky, uneven ground. It's irritating me, so I want a, a solution that means I can shoot a pano quickly, efficiently, without leveling my tripod, and I want it all to go smoothly without any you know, wibbly wobbliness that I get from this tripod head. Are you with me? I hope you're still with me. Um, right, this, this is the solution. I got an email of a gentleman, massive, massive shout out to Simon Manny, or it could be Maney, but I think it's Manny. Simon, anyway, emailed me, um, and I, I can't remember why, I must have been whinging about a tripod head or looking for a solution, and he recommended this, this head. It's not a bull head, it's completely, 
hollow there in the middle. And this is called an Ar an Acrotech, Acrotech, uh, long, what's it called, what's it called? Acrotech long lens head. This head is designed for something like a 500 mil beast of a lens. Um, but it does have certain qualities that lend itself to landscape photography if used in conjunction with a ball head. Definitely not a sponsored video and I'll tell you how to know if a video is sponsored or not. If the person using the product had to buy it second hand off eBay, it's not a sponsored video. <laughs> and that is exactly what I did because I can't get one of these in the UK. So what really got my attention with this tripod head is its simplicity. I was originally gonna go for a tripod head with a panoramic clamp. Um, Three-legged thing do one of these, that's the one I was gonna buy. I think it's called an airhead, I'm not entirely sure. And essentially what that means is there is a panoramic clamp. So this clamp here that your camera attaches to has a rotating base. So you can rotate it from this point rather than this point. And that means you don't have to level your tripod. You can just level Oh, oh yeah, another problem with this is it really stiff. Ah, <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to level your tripod, you level your ball head and you rotate from here rather than here. And I thought that was a fantastic solution for wanting to shoot panels easier and more simply. But it turns out it's not um, because this part of the tram, a bit, bit waffling here, sorry, I just want to explain why that's not a good solution. The reason it's not a good solution is simply because if you are looking at a mountain range or you're on top of a mountain looking down at a valley or you're looking up at some trees, essentially if you're shooting a panoramic and you're rotating from the clamp, your clamp has to be perfectly level, which means you can't tilt up and you can't tilt down. So if you're shooting a pano, you can only shoot dead straight. That might give you far too much sky or far too much ground or whatever. Um, the only way around that would be to have a tilt shift lens and tilt up, tilt down. So that solution didn't work for me. But this, this works for me. And it's so simple. Now the reason I like this is, like I say, simplicity weighs 400 grams. This one weighs 550, 560 grams. So I'm already saving quite a lot of weight. And the beauty of this is it only has two movements. One is that it rotates from the base, like every other tripod head out there, like so. The second movement is simply tilts forwards and backwards, like so. You can see here, if I tilt this all the way down, there is a bubble level right in the middle there, which means the ridiculous placement of the bubble level on the gazelle um, isn't an issue anymore, which is fantastic news. Uh, so yeah, I mean, there's not really much more to say about this tripod head. Um, it's super lightweight and it only has two moving parts essentially. Oh, and of course the clamp at the top. Um, yeah, it's just gonna make panoramics easier. It's gonna make general shooting easier. And because I've eliminated the ball section, I don't have to worry about getting it level this way because I could just use the ball head. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, so now, this, in conjunction with this is the perfect marriage. Now, I'm not sponsored and have no affiliation with, I don't even know the guys at iFootage. However, if they are watching this video, why you guys haven't invested in a head like this to go with your tripod is beyond me because it's a marriage made in heaven and it's definitely something you should look into because it's a fantastic solution. Although, <laughs> saying that, if you actually look at the bottom of this head, uh, it, just, it just says, this product is protected by one or more of the following patents. So yeah, it's uh, they've patented the out of it. So uh, maybe they can't do that. There is a downside to this head. <sighs> and that is that it isn't currently going to work with my beloved Enduro tripod. Now I do believe Enduro make a ball head as well for this, so I'm gonna look into that. Um, but as soon as I put it on this tripod, which is a standard tripod without a ball head, I hope you're following me, I hope you're still with me on this video, uh, then I lose, you know, 
I don't get the left-right movement, which means I won't be able to get a level shot and I'll actually be back to leveling the tripod just to take a standard landscape image. So it has to be used with a bowl head. It has to be. So there you go, that's my... That's my video all about my latest bit of gear. Oh, for anyone interested, this is made by a company called Acrotech and it's a long lens head. You can't get them in the UK and they are expensive and unfortunately I got the only one second hand on eBay. So, um, so yeah, there you go. Um, I'm very, very excited to use it. It's solid, stable, lightweight, perfect for panels and it's the marriage made in heaven to my ball head tripod. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now because I'm just talking rubbish. Um, this tripod head, I'm gonna keep hold of it for now because I might still wanna use it with my Enduro. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take it off my gear blog. If you haven't visited my gear blog, it's a blog post listing all of my gear. Um, haven't updated it for months, need to do that. So I'll be taking this off and I will be adding this. So, there you go, thank you so much for watching and uh, tune in next time. I mean, your guess is as good as the mine as to what that video is going to be, <laughs> but I'm definitely going for now. So yeah, until then, bye 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 bye.